I mean, I have no reason to believe that he was particularly old. Avery Smith. Go for that full charge shot. Oh, boy. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Power Gano! Oh. oh, it's one of these boss fights. I really hope this isn't the final boss. <laughs> yeah, just duck walk to the side there. That's fine. You know what this is? Hmm. This is those dudes from Arkham again. Yeah, you're right. There's no escaping from them. I know. But this game has sharper controls. Yeah. I don't know about that. Look, when you press a direction on the stick, York goes. Um, sometimes. Unless that direction is to the side on your skateboard. Or turning in most situations. Well, the Batmobile wasn't in Arkham Asylum, so... No. And in fact, when they put the Batmobile in, it fucked up the whole game! Yeah. New goddess gives you power, huh? I wonder if shooting his growth hurts him more. No, it doesn't. Not quite Resident Evil, huh? Not quite. Nah, for it to be Resident Evil, they would have to be gross eyeballs. Is there any indication as to where those things are gonna pop up? The cracks in the floor? Oh, is that what it is? That's my guess. Oh. Oh. Who is it? Who's the man behind the man behind the man behind the throne? Oh. Yeah. Patricia. What if she's the final boss? Paga was Sumpha. Paga was Sumpha. So here's my question. He is actually chanting like words. Yeah. What does that do? What is that for who? Or for how? That. That is what my guess is. But like. <clears throat> what's the. I guess my question is like. What's the language oh. of this scene? What? What? Avery. So that's your new altar. Sorry, but that religion won't last much longer. Trisha's coming with me. Okay. Here's your phase two. Oh, oh yes! Oh. You're not even hurting him. This is... Where's, where's the voodoo doll? You need the voodoo doll. Remember the first game? I do. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Do I really have to use up Shoot all the my monitor. Bullets? My guess is you have to wait for him to attack and shoot the thing that he's wearing. Okay. Because he's covering it with his hand. Fair. I've always wondered what that was supposed to be. Um... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, see? Alright, I see it. Through his legs, maybe? No. Well, I... Investigation, investigation failed. failed. I was about to tell you to heal. Okay. Well... <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's probably like... I don't know. Some calming meditation thing? Because he's clearly maybe. listening to it literally all the time. Yeah, you're right. 
And if he's listening to it now... And he then says, it makes sense to break it. Yeah. Well, also, if he's listening to it now, then it's clear that he's had it since he was a child and still has it into adulthood. He sounds like somebody in this form, but I can't remember who exactly. Hmm. Well, keep an eye on those credits. Yeah. I wish that you could shoot, like, the area around it that his hands don't quite cover. You know what I mean? Mm, that would kind of subvert the mechanic, I think. Yeah, but it would also be um, fitting, considering we've been able to do that with every boss. So what's up with Patricia there? I guess we'll find out in a few minutes, but like... Yeah. <clears throat> ah, there we go. See, now I just feel doubly bad for him because he's clearly a child. I mean, he kind of always was. I know, know, but now it's like even more, right? Oh, I need my if anything stamina. even less because he's a really big child. I mean, he always was. So not much has changed. But I always felt bad for him. So why now more than before? I guess now because he's getting more screen time. We're spending even more time with him. And now I have to fight. Like, before we could at least hope that he was gonna be okay. And now it's like I'm directly attacking him. Yeah. See? We're hurting him. But You're also, right. he is trying to kill us. Ow. What? Disaster aversion bonus. You see the game fucking freak out? I see it. What's going on there? Oh, he's disintegrating like in the fucking subspace emissary. Oh, Flashbacks to Peter Parker. We can't heal. We can't pause. This is it. You can't have your walk cycle line up to your pace. You're not allowed. Well, his legs are shaking. He's 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 hurting. He's had a long day. He did kind of look like young Voldemort, like Tom Riddle. He's had a long, like, last ten years. Probably longer. <sighs> Patricia, you've become... Such a beautiful young woman. Oh no. There it is. I knew that was coming. CLG, why? God, his fingernails are fucked up too. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't ask you to come here. What do you think you're doing? I'm solving the case. To act like some big hero? No. You never oh. change. Oh, Is my hunch right? People's problems. You wouldn't even let me die back then. What? Do you know how much pain I had to suffer because of you? Thanks to you. I had to live out 14 more years in hell. What's but going on, CLG? Who do you think you are anyway? You should have just let me die. I could never do that. I could never just stand there 
and let you die. Never. Never. Well, you should have. But... But... You should have just let me die! Just like you did with all... <coughs> Stop it. Stop it. There's this thing that he does with his voice that makes him sound kind of like Robin Atkins Downs when he's doing this. A little bit. No, I'm not. I did it for the sake of justice. I know what you're talking about. Oh. Don't say it, please. Whatever you do, just don't say her name. Emily Wyatt. No! Emily Wyatt. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I couldn't pretend. Yet I survived. I lived on to accomplish nothing. Damn it, York. He really sounds like him right now. Just take me. Take me to the other side. <laughs> York? No. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh! Yep! Casey. Oh no! Oh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Look, Zach. <laughs> oh fuck you! You're the worst! I'm awful sorry I'm not your. But I can still save you. I could even take you over to the other side. If that's what you I'm going to fucking murder you, Kason. Give me your hand, old buddy. Absolutely I'll not. Under no circumstances. Just like a Lighthouse that guides ships through the dark, abyssal night. God, I hate him. I hate him so much. Literally skin crawling. You only get one option. What if I just turn off the console? What if you press B? What if I press B? It doesn't work. Ah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's a battle within the mind? Huh. huh. Yo, that's awesome. Oh God. Oh, welcome, Zack, to the red world. You become such a fine monster. Oh, oh, oh. Lena and George can never hold a candle to you. They really disappoint me. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait out this dialogue. <laughs> I can't believe she actually tried to outwit me. Right at the very end. See. My plan was to have Patricia die, then let Candy and Melvin survive. The goddess of fertility and her puppy, the Great King, working together to turn the entire South into the Red Kingdom. <laughs> Yet right at the last minute, who appeared but York? That little rat. He saved. Then both the God are you and the great king died. are you aware of what happens in the future made all my hard work go to waste but Zach I see now well this is in the present now remember this is but was he at the time aware of what was gonna happen I don't know the results are true 
matured after long years of patience. Was he aware of the events of this game when the first game was happening? Well, yeah, because that took place after. Don't tell me. But I mean, like... You actually thought Patricia said all these? Was part of his motivation in that game oh, fucking over York specifically because of what happens in this game? Uh, she was too busy for any of that. Maybe. You actually thought she'd waste her precious time on you? <laughs> What's wrong? Can't hear me anymore? <laughs> no, I can hear you. I'm waiting for you to stop talking. It's fine by me, Zack. Especially now that York's out of the picture. No one can stop us anymore. Now, hurry up and destroy Patricia. Make flowers for me. Blood Do I have to? Flowers. <laughs> I guess I have to. I guess so. God, I hate Kaysen so much. He's such an effective villain because he's just so despicable. Stop right there! Oh! Good on you. Good on you. Do you see now that this is all a bunch of bullshit? You this isn't what I was- this isn't what it looks like. Oh no. Don't move another muscle! Francis Zack Morgan! Your story, your reasoning, I accept most of it. So just put your hands down and give it up. I'll take it from here. Are you gonna tell me that he's under- Oh god. Hey. He's just floating right now. God she fuck you. Bad. She can't see this world, but she still managed to find her way here using nothing but her nose. She's like a genius pianist who can play Chopin without looking at any sheet music. <laughs> She's got potential. Isn't that right, Zack? You don't have permission to say that. I just got a nugget of an idea. I know the perfect way to use her. God, shut up. Shut up. Let me use Mr. Alligator to kill Kaysen. Inspection start. Okay. Oh, you're on a time limit. Alter. Beautiful altar. Got it. What's above me? What's above me? Catwalk. Catwalk's in my way. Okay. Uh, cardboard boxes. Oh, look at him fucking yucking it up! I know, I see it. Old forklift. It's a vehicle. Pile of discarded, uh, refining tools. Nothing. Female mannequin? No, no, no. What else we got? What else we got? Ice glue on the floor probably break that oh god yeah 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 break that break that shit okay forest casein big fat pig hey pig Aaliyah nope. inspection complete nope big fat pig Hate pig. <laughs> York smash. I love that even at this moment, he can still, like, he can still inspect. He's still trying to, f like, use what he can to solve the case. You're aiming at the wrong person, Aaliyah. Well, to be fair, shooting Kaysen in the first game didn't work either. I know it. 
And also, to be fair, if I saw that thing, yeah. What's all this then? You're Zek? Special Agent Zek? You remember. You came to save me. Didn't you? Hey, Patricia. You've grown so much. And so have I. Change your hair color. Clearly. And it looks great on you. tragedy. I always knew it would. He and I are two sides of the same coin. We've always been one in the same. If I disappear, so will he. You don't need to worry, Patricia. You can be happy. Now. No, you're not allowed to do that. The contract's still in effect. Here, look at this. Was this all a big lie? I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. You need to uphold the contract. Zack, you saved my life. You're the only reason I'm alive right now. That one time when I wouldn't stop crying. Remember what you said? Our world is filled with pain. Evil, violence, betrayal. Jealousy, lies, unseen despair is always waiting for a chance to paralyze us. Sometimes you might feel like you'd be better off dead. But you can't give up. Never forget. The tree disappear? Your life is your own. Yeah. Those words freed me from the chains of my destiny. If it weren't for you, I would have died a long time ago. Please, Zack, I still need this contract. Please keep protecting me. Morgan! Get away from her! Uh oh. Wait, you're misunderstanding. Get away before I count to three, or I'll shoot! One! Fucking oh, Kason. Listen to me! Two! What's gonna happen? It's gonna be Simon! Who? Who? Patricia! God, what if- what if York came out of nowhere? I would love to see that. All of David comes out of nowhere, all five of them. And they've joined to form Voltron. I don't care for this camera angle. What the- what? What is this bullshit now? Is this a miracle? Is it an oracle? Yo! I can't- Bully, are you fucking serious? Yo! What? You've become quite the crybaby since I last saw you, Zach. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> Hi there. Good to see you again, Patty. You haven't aged. Who are you? FBI Special Agent Francis York. Morgan. Yeah! Oh my God. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> Yes, that's right. 
I'm Zack, and Zack is me. What? Nani? <laughs> But Aaliyah's still got the gun, right? Oh, he looks terrible. Holy shit. He looks like a Dark Souls enemy. What are you? We're your old friends, Pat. God. Now. And forever. In the name of the FBI, I will punish you. Is he now just... Yeah! He's yeah. Got... Oh! That's what David Young's got! Heterochromia? Oh! What the fuck is with this music? <laughs> oh, don't shoot Aaliyah! I'm trying not to. What is this? Oh, she's got it too! The contract! Press A! I did. Yes! Yes! Aim carefully, sister. God, I've always wanted to kill you. <laughs> Aim carefully, sister. No. What if I... Oh, it's freezing. Oh no! It freezes every time it does it. B! I don't think so. He throws his card like he's Seto Kaiba. Why is he fucking flapping his arms? Oh, we're gonna do it again, we're gonna do it again. Oh, that was a Y. Oh, it's only 21 now. That's okay. Two headshots in a row more than makes up for that. I love this music. This is like a remix of the main theme. And it's got the, uh... Oof. You're poisoned. Poison will gradually deplete your life and can bring you to the brink of death unless you use an item to recover. So it can't kill you. It cannot kill me, but it can bring me to the brink. Oof. I don't think I have anything for poison, though. Come on. You should probably, at the very least, make sure you stay topped off, then. Yeah. I'm thinking that's, uh, that's a good way to go. Any one of these is probably fine. Actually, hold on. Uh, only... Okay, that only restores life. Okay. Okay. I do think... I knew that a poison effect was a part of this game, but I haven't seen it until now. Yeah, this is the first time. But there... There have been, like, items. <laughs> yeah, there's been anti-venoms. God, get the... Careful! I'm trying, I'm trying real hard. What? What the hell is... Are those skulls? What are those? They're... They're freaky voodoo skulls. They're shrunken heads. They are. Oh, I'm only shooting her. God, this sucks. Come on. Ah. I don't think Watch so. Watch out for the freaky voodoo skulls. I see them. I am doing the best I can. Okay, here's the thing. I was talking before about how, um, about how the situation with Zack and York is reminding me a lot of something about Twin Peaks Season 3, and that I yeah. had one lingering doubt as to, like, how this would... Disa disaster reversion bonus! I had one more thought as to how this was going to end up like that. Yes! Counter! 
Fuck what I was going to say. We're going to talk about that during the credits. Oh. Life is beautiful, Kaysen. But not while you're... Run, here. fat boy! Run! I hope you're ready to get shot in the back of the head. Oh? Oh! 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 Getting faster! Oh! oh! Literally a heart attack. Oh, cool. Neversoft? Neversoft. Tony Hawk? What's all this then? Zack! Hey, Zack! Wake up! Zack! No! You can't die here! Please, Zack! Your please! Save Zack! I know you can save him! Death is inevitable, Patricia. It descends upon us all equally. All life dies in the end, and no one can change that. We're finally together again. This isn't fair. Come on. Fulfill the contract. Sorry, but this is an extenuating circumstance. Then sign a new one with me. This contract isn't valid anymore. Now, I'm going to protect you from all the evil in the world. And I plan on keeping my promise. So you're not allowed to die before I do. Go on. Sign the contract. Come on, sign it. <clears throat> Are you sure you're prepared for everything that entails? You can only break the rules once. Mm hmm. What the fuck is happening? Oh. Uh huh. This is our final farewell. Thank you so much for all you've done. For all those years, you never forgot about me, did you? It's been so long since we've seen each other, but I know you always kept me in your heart. That's what kept me alive. I owe it all to you, Zach. Thank you. And goodbye. Bye, York. So long. Farewell. Only to sing goodbye. Yes, GG. Thank you. Thanks, Bad Cat. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh. Oh, he's fine. I mean, probably. I hope he lived. I mean, we did shoot him a bunch. Yeah, but that was all in fantasy land. They were also rubber bullets. Why are you holding the gun like that? Why are you wearing heels? Why are you holding the gun upside down? It was nice of the magical powers that be to give him a pair of pants. Yeah. Does not become a monster. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. I think about that quote a lot. Yeah. It's okay, most authors do, I think. Gotta keep that PG rating. You're right. 
That almost sounded like the uh, Final Fantasy prelude there for a minute. Almost. Or not the prelude. Um, Tifa's theme? I think it's Tifa's. It might be Aerith's theme. The... Da, 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 da. Or is that just Final What's Fantasy? What's all this? Is this York's funeral? Much blood was shed, and many precious lives were lost. Avery Smith was indicted on 11 charges, including kidnapping Patricia Clarkson, illegally disposing of Lise Clarkson's corpse, and distributing the illegal substance known as San Rouge. He's currently serving Said Clarkson a term of 381 years at a state prison in Angola, Louisiana. His first possible oh. scheduled review for parole oh. would happen in 127 years at the earliest. Damn. She the never got a proper burial. In solving the case was officially acknowledged, and she was transferred to the DCHQ. Thanks to Boston Chief Robert Abraham's support, she was officially allowed to join the San Rouge Investigative Task Force. Later, it was reported that her younger brother began to show small signs of recovery from his addiction. Simon Jones was finally freed from his mission to monitor a certain ex-agent and returned to the Boston branch. He was given a brand new computer and put back on data analysis, but never worked another big case. Instead, he spends most of his time at the office doing Sudoku. Yeah, that fits. Yeah. So, That's probably a happy enough ending for him. Years, the curtain on this gruesome case was finally closed. Look at all those Clarkson family goons. Listen to that guitar in the background. She was clearly the fucking crazy ass opening theme. Yet she never tried to. The true reason behind her tragic downfall remains shrouded in mystery. A person's life can be greatly affected by the tiniest of anomalies, such as buttoning the wrong shirt button. Just like how this genius, who once inspired great expectations, went on to become infamous as one of the South's most inhuman criminals. And now, after a very long time, life is finally starting to return to Lucari. Well, at least not everything got fucked up. At least that. We did eventually solve the case. It took 14 years, but we solved the case. Directed by Swery. Oh, good, good, good job, oh. Swery. It, um... And a good job to you as well. It, it took, thank you. Uh, after five hours, just about, I'm happy to say that Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, is done. And I liked it. It was good. I really liked it. I'm actually going to drop the desktop audio down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I, I liked this whole thing a lot. Um, this game, much like the first one, got kind of a bad rap, I think. Uh, people really, really didn't like this game for, you know, understandable reasons. Um, including people who, in some cases, did like the first game. I think there's been some awkwardness. The handling of Lena, the first go-around before the changes, does suck. I think that kind of spoke to more of a... It seemed to come more from, like, a place of arrogance... Or sorry, oh, ignorance at, and error. Look at the credits. Look at the credits. You see David Juara? I do. <laughs> um, I, you know, I've, Armin Taylor, I have not heard of him. Um, yeah, I, I feel like Swery is, uh, he went back, he fixed it like he said he would. And they've even been patching in some performance updates along the way. But, like, looking back on it, I feel like this game might have been shorter than the first game. 
Maybe that's just me? That's kind of the impression that I got. The map was definitely smaller. There were less people to meet. Yeah. And the ones that you did meet weren't on screen for as much. There weren't quite as many, like, crazy, crazy people. Yeah. There were a few, but not as many. I think David kind of made up for it. David is maybe my favorite character of this year. Um, followed only by David and David. Uh, yes, Bad Cat, it is uh, 749 as of right now. Um, God. I really liked it. I, I really, really liked it. And I've been excited to f both finish it and to start something new. But I had a hell of a time. Do you have any any thoughts in general about uh, this last episode or the game overall? I think... So there were a few moments where I was like, okay, if the credits rolled right now, I would be really unhappy. You know? I agree. But then it kept going, and it got to a point where, yeah, I can say I'm happy with how it ended. And I'm the... happy with everything leading up to this point. I would agree with that. I would say that the last 20 minutes of this game made me extremely happy in a way that... Again, uh, okay, so... Here I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into some spoilers uh, for Twin Peaks season three, but my one lingering doubt about this was something happens to Dale Cooper at the end of Twin Peaks, and basically Twin Peaks season three is him trying to come back and like them constantly teasing, hey, the villain is out there, the rest of the case is not solved. But Dale Cooper is not in his right mind, and he needs to come back to save everyone. And the fact that this game ends with our analog for Cooper being like taken over by the evil entity and having to fight it off of him, and eventually come back to his senses as like the cool, suave version of himself that you wanted in the hero, right? Mm-hmm. That was one part of it. But the other part of it is, at the very, very end of Twin Peaks Season 3, massive spoilers, they do a thing where they insert Cooper into film footage of the movie for Twin Peaks that aired, like, 15 years prior, and he goes back and effectively stops the case from ever happening. And goes back in time to try his best at making making a happy ending happen his way. Defying fate. Right. And that's basically what happened with York. But in like... Dead Tui Premonition. Dead you know, like Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. Dead 3 E Premonition. But like the fact that they brought that full thing. Like that fat thing full circle. It was fucking nuts. Because also, I wasn't terribly happy with the beginning of Deadly Premonition 1. So this this did a lot of work. Oh. I stole this from Professor R's lab. <laughs> I figured you would. I've read through it dozens of times, but it still doesn't make sense to me. I mean, at some point, her plan started to collapse, right? Otherwise, I probably would have been killed early on. But here I am, alive and breathing. And the stalker who harassed me for years has been arrested too. Not only that, but now I have a brand new life waiting for me as heir to the Clarkson Empire. Both Lucare and the Clarkson's industries are finally showing signs of recovering. It's just hard for me to believe that this all went according to her plan. Yes, I understand how you feel. No matter how you look at it. Things couldn't possibly have ended up perfectly in accordance with her plan. How can you be sure of that? You earned a new life for yourself through the effort you put into it. It definitely wasn't something that Lena gave to you. You made this life possible. You didn't do it all on your own, of course. You were only able to come this far thanks to everyone who supported you along the way. 
Could anyone really believe that Lena was the one who orchestrated all this? There's no way. I'm positive. All the people you've met thus far, and all the things you've experienced, created the person you are now. Too many variables. One of those people, nothing more. You really think so? Still, York and I both fell for that message of hers. Maybe her plan really is still moving forward after all. Stop joking around. I'm seriously concerned about this. <laughs> Sorry, Patty. <laughs> What am I going to do with you, Zach? <laughs> By the way, what's going on here? Your hair color back in order to signify some important decision you made. Seems like uh, Patty's uh, yeah. I guess I maybe did. doing some After investigation. I finally found my true self, so I've decided to accept everything that comes to me from this point on. I think that color looks great on you. Really? Thanks, Zach. <laughs> I'll never give up. I'm determined to overcome my cursed blood, whatever it takes. And you will. That's why York chose you to be his assistant, you know. He always knew you had it in you. Wow. He really thought that highly of me? Suddenly I feel really motivated now. This is He's talking with York over instant messenger. Yeah. Now that's the Patricia Clark. Seems that way. Seems that way. Seems that way. Bad idea. They Zach, what the fuck? Yeah, they're like <laughs> Please just shut up. <laughs> Deadly premonition, lol. <laughs> Deadly premonition, lol. <sighs> well, so long, Zach. I'll come visit you next summer. Louisiana summers are just too hot for me to handle. You're always welcome here. Bye now. Why does he have a picture of Kaysen's dog? Yeah, that took me a second to parse. Oh, he... that's sad. Oh, no. E can only be one person. Mm hmm Oh. I want David to, uh, I want David Young to come through the door. I want David Jawara to come through the door. Good evening, sir. Feels like today is going hey, ya, boss! A wonderful day. Now, All three of them. Some coffee. No matter what the plan is, coffee should always come first. Isn't that right, Emily? Well, shit. Oh, fuck you. you that? <laughs> Not now. Yes, now. Not after everything we've been through. What better place than here? What better time than- Yes! Are you kidding me? Fucking awesome! You hear that sound effect? I sure did! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise. What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> did we did we bring him back to life? Was he ever dead? Was yes. he ever Yes. Clear. Okay. Let's see what we got. 67 sharpshooter bonus makes me pretty okay. Pantalones. Inamoratis. Maybe you know. Maybe you know what some of these words mean, but I don't. I know what some of them mean, but not very many. Okay. Let's save, I guess. Get that one last save. Oh, and you see that? You get that little red mark for new game. There it is.
Well, shit. Oh, look, the menu changed. It did. He looks like such a grandpa. And he's looking well for being not only advanced in years, but technically a cancer survivor. Yeah, straight up. He, uh... Oh, 24 hours, 35 minutes. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Considering how much of that... Considering there was a significant amount of that that was, like, at least 35 minutes of me waiting for clocks to turn down. Not or not knowing what to do. Or pulling up a clip from Billy and Mandy. Hey, that was worth it. Oh, it was. Don't get me wrong. Okay. This was the only other thing I was curious about. I cannot change the uh, the sensitivity of the controller. Mm. Which, hey, what a thing to worry about now as, as the game is fucking over. But, um... Yeah. So that was rad. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to say before we leave off with this game for good? The only thing I have to say is that I think it's a satisfactory conclusion to the story. Yeah, I, I would say so. I think I was not expecting a satisfying conclusion. I was kind of... What's the word I would say? This is a game... Apprehensive? Yeah, I mean, this is a game that didn't need to happen. But it did, and it makes the first game stronger for existing. And if I could if I could go off on a tangent here for a second. Go for it. I would say that like I was fully expecting for York to die and to have that be the ending, right? Yeah. But no, he gets better and he goes on to just keep living. And I think that's fine. Because not every ending has to be super tragic. Or even bittersweet for that matter. I agree. It's I okay agree. to make just make something that has a nice ending. I agree. For sure. I'm happy that York and Zack got a happy ending. I'm surprised that both of them... Like... I made the joke, Yeah, what the right? fuck's up with that? I made the joke, like... Man, what if... What if fucking York, of all people, just came in right now? And it's like, oh no, guess what? That's just how the game ends? <laughs> That's just what happens. I... I'll take it. I'll take it. It's wonderful. Also, Bad Cat, you're right. His apartment does look terrible, and he was not outside. <laughs> but I still like the apartment a lot. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Uh, at 5 hours, 6 minutes, and 26 seconds, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. <laughs>